Hello everyone, this tutorial is to help you to learn to use Microsoft PowerPoint. And the first thing we'll do is go over the basics of the GUI, which is the General User Interface. Over here you've got your task pan. If any time you close this, you can come right up over to here. View, down, and task pan. And in here you can go, you can get clip art, and you can do different things there. This is your main things that you'll need to know while using this. So the first thing in this is the layout which on your main page, this is your main page layout, then you can go into uh, title and text, title only, title and two columns, that's just your title slide, it's the standard right we've got right now. You got a content layout, so adding pictures, diagrams, different things like that. Here's diagrams on one side, text on the other, and then other different layouts. Uh, you see, I like that. Didn't mean to do that, but back to this. So we're going to make a quick little PowerPoint. Probably very quick, but it's PowerPoint. Um, we'll first get a uh, slide design. There we go. Your color scheme will be like uh, your colors of your text and stuff. This will also do color scheming for you. So you can choose different backgrounds there's and different kinds. Fireworks. Uh, last one was just some scales. Uh, islands. One thing, when you press this side, when you apply to all slides, just apply to this slide. It's pretty straightforward. We're going to use this one right here because it's pretty nifty. So if you enter, enter your title. This is just like Word. Most people know how to use Word. so. Uh, hello, power point. And then created by you. Another thing with this, misspell, just like Word, has a spell check. Thank Microsoft for that. The new slide, that's how you plot, get new slides. You can press on that button up there or insert new slide and then here's your standard bullet points so hello first second third however you want to do this I misspelled again I like spell check saves me Okay, but let's, let's view this. You can do that by this button down here shows, shows you the current slide. Pressing escape gets out of this. Uh, then to see your full slideshow, you go to slideshow, view show. But you see, pretty boring right now. So what we'll do is uh, add in some animation. There's animation schemes already done, which that's an easy thing to do. Then you can get into custom, which you can make it much more creative. So you've got um, uh, entering sub uh, subtitle, moderate, exciting. So let's say, let's get an exciting one. Be excited. That gives you a display of it. Apply to all slides. Now it'll just add it to everyone. So let's go ahead and view it again, but you can also view it by pressing F5. So hello PowerPoint, press space, created by you. Hello, first, second, third, fourth. That's a bit better, isn't it? So, yeah, and just press escape to exit. That's the basics of doing that. Let's add another slide. Uh, let's put a picture in this one. So, choose this one right here. And right here you can choose clip art. There's uh you can also do it different ways. You can import pictures too. Which that's basically what I, I do, but I'm just gonna bring in clip art here. But if you press the import button then you can do it. And then you can edit this picture, make it bigger, smaller. It's very similar to Word. It's all the standards there. And then you can, let's say, uh, this 
is my house. I live here. Let's just add a little excitement. I'll just add it, give you a little, uh, sorry, um, explanation here. So, now we'll go ahead and do it again. Slideshow, view show. Created by you. Hello. First, second, third. However, don't know why I put that there. House. This is my house. I live here. And then that comes up last because that's how the it animates it. Now I'm figuring if you go to the other side, then which you if you press that, then it'll change it. It'll probably uh, put in the house first. But when you do custom animation, then you can choose all that. You can do a lot more with that. So that's about all I'm going to show you for now. All these are buttons are basically the standard is Word. Microsoft's pretty good at that. And you can do numerous things through this. And later on, I'll try to make some more of these just to help you, anybody. So you can go ahead and save it. And it saves as .ppt. So, yep. Actually, I think it's a .p. I don't know. File. Save as. Yeah, it's a .ppt. Okay. Well, I hope this helps somebody. Thanks.